Well, Marsh is back in the news tonight with a warning that the end may be near unless someone steps in to turn the grocery chain's fortunes around. The company says it will close all of its remaining 44 stores, including 40 in Indiana, if a buyer or investor doesn't come forward. The deadline is 60 days from now. And while Marsh Company executives wait, thousands of Hoosiers are left to wonder whether they'll soon be out of work. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker shows us the jobs at stake and the concerns over neighborhoods left without sources of food. The signs promise a good deal inside, so Robin Balthrop's come to this marsh on Shadeland Avenue. Gotta eat, so I guess I need something. But the reason behind the good deal doesn't make Balthrop happy. The store is set to close and people are going to lose their jobs. It makes me feel bad to do that. These are the only things left in there. Dwayne Tyler's okay with saving some money. Don't nobody want them, and these are the highest things in there, so I was happy to see them. He's not happy either, though, to know that another Marsh store is closing. And for good reason. You gotta travel all, all around just to go to the grocery store. Tyler would certainly know. He lives near 21st and Post. The marsh he usually shopped at has already shut its doors. There's nothing by me but gas stations. This is my local marsh. I live right around the corner. walthrop has been coming to this marsh for years. Now she's got to find another place to go. There's a Kroger close by, but not in walking distance. It hurts. Uh, I like to come here to grab things um, at the spur of the moment or do a little bit of shopping, and I feel bad for all the workers because where are they going? That's a question that doesn't have an answer yet. Close to 2,800 Marsh employees stand to lose their jobs if the company doesn't find a buyer or business partner to step in. No fault of their own, they're, they're being caught up in a situation that they can't control. I feel very sorry for them. James Lawrence, who shops at this Marsh in Zionsville, isn't worried about where he'll shop. He's got options. It's the employees he's gotten to know as a regular shopper here who he worries about. I can manage. I'm, I'm just, I feel sorry for them. Back on the northeast side, Robin Balthrop worries for her neighborhood and the people who live here. You've got to have stores to anchor, uh, shopping centers, and have people come in, and, you know, that's what keeps the neighborhoods going. A Marsh spokesperson tells us they are now working with an investment banking firm to try and find a buyer or investor, but that July 1st deadline to do it is looming. Seven more stores are scheduled to close by tomorrow. Now we have a map at WTHR.com with all of the locations, so you can check to see which ones are open or closed. John?